Alright, let's do this. What's up everyone? Empowered Qs here bringing you some more League of Legends action. I'm uh, going to give you another little pocket pick of mine, Cho'Gath here. Uh, Jax was banned out and one of my kind of go-to champions when I don't know what the heck to do is... is actually Cho'Gath, because the nice thing is, is no matter what happens in lane, Cho'Gath is going to be useful. Um, he's also kind of a natural counter to Conqueror. Now, don't get me wrong. Still going to hurt a lot. But, um, yikes. But, uh, Conqueror turns 20% damage into, into true damage, right? Well, if no matter what is doing, like, let's say, 200 damage. Well, what is the natural counter to true damage then? Well, it is extra health. And Cho'Gath gets a lot of extra health. So I took some late scaling stuff. I have conditioning, so I gotta be a little careful because I'm not gonna be the strongest at the start. So. So I gotta play it safe for the first little bit here. See Master Yi. Uh, I don't really want to miss this. Alright, did he leave? Okay, got a ward. Cool. Stay in EXP range. Nice, get nice and low. Okay, I'm willing to miss these, uh, waves. He's dead. Alright, back it up. Okay. Cool, head back. Interesting. Uh, definitely gonna probably rush a Ninja Tabby and Thornmail here. I mean, it is Trindamir. So I missed a tiny bit of experience. Let's kind of zone him off here. He could always heal, but... Back it up. And I can regain some health. He's probably gonna back a TP, so I'm gonna shove this wave. If I had more mana... I would try to... Oh, God. Wait for him to try and... Yeah, I'll be fine. Just wait for that. Cool. Not the best, but it's better to survive. I'm going to, like I said, rush some armor. And I'll do a health and armor component here, so that'll be nice. And I'm going to TP back to lane. Do the Hashinshin TP right here. I'm going to heal off all this anyway, so that's okay. Mm. Nice try. Push this wave force out his TP. up here if I know if he walks towards me I know his jungler's there okay no plant there Get a, oh shit return gank by the master Yi. get a ward here okay gotta be a little safe here this wave's gonna push out to me anyway so just make sure I stay in exp range for now uh, if you don't know the way that Cho'Gath's uh, feast works, is you can do up to six stacks on minions and an infinite amount on uh, enemy champions, large monsters, any of that kind of jazz. So you always want to get your feast on an appropriate cooldown. You don't want to do it when you're going to need it for a team fight, obviously. So a lot of Cho'Gath's early like kind of skill is managing that appropriately. 
Like, I don't think I'm gonna get into a fight, so I'm just gonna feast here. Alright, don't know where Trindamir is. There he is. So, don't really plan on killing him anytime soon. Slowly whittle down a little bit. I'm gonna try and hang out and regain some health. Cool. Alright, hanging out in lane. Uh, definitely gonna be a good Frozen Heart um, matchup as well, due to the Mastery and the Trendomir. That kind of got double uh, stacking Life Stealers and Attack Speed. Gonna play it safe for a second. I don't know where Master Yi is. I think we could get this Trindamir. Yeah. Gotta be careful with my mana. Ultimate. Used it. Alright, gonna feast. Cool. Trigger gonna back, so. Just get the feast out of the way. That way it's on cooldown. Um, I also took Ultimate Hat, which decreases the cooldown of your feast as well for every time you use it, up to five times. So, that be the big power of Cho'Gath. So, another reason to get it on cooldown as quickly as possible. Damn, this is a really bad spot. I don't think Trindamir TP'd, and I got good vision, so a little risky to push this, but I'm going to do it anyways. I need this wave to reset properly, so I want to make sure it smacks into the uh, wave appropriately. Cool. Now we good. There's Master E again. What's up, buddy? Uh, I'm gonna get my ninja tabby first. Get two more armor. Cloth armors. Nice. Head it back to the top lane and see now by the time that I get back, my feast is already gonna be up again. Nice. They should have that. Oh, really? That sucks. Nice. Good heal. Okay, I see Trindamir now. I just saw Master Yi not too long ago, so I want to be careful of that. Get the little grass proc. I didn't think that'd be back up yet. That's okay. I didn't waste anything doing it, so well, I wasted my fee stack, which I would have preferred to actually get a stack for. Uh, I want to get a ward. I I just have a feeling that Master Yi is around. Otherwise, I feel like he would not have done that. But I said he probably did it because. He wants to try and whittle me down, but I don't exactly have uh, no regen. I mean, every time. <clears throat> Idiot. Okay. Don't know what that Trindamir is doing. Um, I want to stay just long enough to get another feast stack. So I'm going to overstay a smidgen for 10 seconds, get my feast, and then back. So make sure I conserve my mana. Because once again, I want to put it on cooldown as quick as possible. Work, I get my uh, six stacks here. And this is what I mean. Like, I like Cho'Gath because he's a nice pocket pick. No matter what, you can always just um, run up to somebody, ultimate eat them, and back up. Tanks are tanks in CC 
is always useful. It's really what it comes down to. You might be able to get both of these. Nice little buy, and I can get nice. Cool, and by the time I get back to lane, I'll probably have about 20 seconds, 25 seconds left on uh, my ultimate. So, and then I'm going to get Righteous Glory, Bramble, and then Frozen Heart. So, the Bramble for the lifesteal, but Frozen Heart's going to slow him down, which is going to be more valuable. Wow, he did a lot of damage to that tower quickly. Oh man, really? I gotta remember how low of a cooldown that thing is. Get a, a ward here. Hmm. Because it obviously matches my feast. I guess that's what I gotta remember is it matches my feast, so probably not use that on Trindamir anymore. To be frank, he teleported, so I can push another wave. What do I need for my uh, Righteous Glory? 110. Ideally, actually, I'd want to stay for another like 20 seconds, but I don't know if that's going to happen. If I can hold on to this minion right here. Don't hit him. Three. Don't hit him. Don't do it. Nice. Woo! Run it back! He pushes really fast, so I might have to TP back. Or I could stay. I got a, a lot of, uh... Um... Sustain with my E. <laughs> well, I appreciate you thinking of me, but I was okay. Man, in a perfect world, I stay for 10 more seconds. Damn, that sucks. I stay for 10 seconds and TP back. Probably a mistake, though. Back it up. Mm, yikes. Nice. My turret's down anyways, I think. I just so tanky, they can't do anything about it. <laughs> I want the fee stack. Anytime I can get a fee stack, I want to get it. So I need what? One more off a regular minion, but this doesn't count as a regular minion. So, so at 1,100, I'll use my fee stack. Nice. I guess I'll take it. Good shit. Cool. I don't know why I took that. Oh well. <laughs> Push this wave in and then I'll back. My conditioning has gone up to... How far along is my ultimate hat? Yeah, so I've got the 50% cooldown reduction on my ultimate hat.
<laughs> like I said, just so tanky get my last feast off. We just killed two of them, so I don't think I'll need it for another 50 seconds. And then I'm going to get my Bramble and then work on my Frozen um, Heart. Want Rift, Mid, or Top? I think we'd rather get Mid Tower. And then actually I could use my Feast on the, uh, the Dragon up here. We could just push this in. Like right, so I said, I'd save my feast for a uh, dragon. I mean, if I can get it on any champion, I will. Nice! We could keep pushing, probably. Nice! Let's just go get dragon. We'll back up. Um, so Dragon, Rift Herald, both count as epic monsters. Baron counts as well. Um, so that counts towards your, like, extra feast stacks. So it doesn't count towards the six that you can only get from minions. So definitely uh, stack away for free on that. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Go ahead, Hecarim. Chogath! <laughs> oh god. I love Chogath. Oh shit. I'll get Trend. So that's the one thing you gotta be careful for is when Trindamir uh, does that. Nice. Um, cause that's, that's kinda Trindamir's specialty is the split push action. So... Um... Oh my god, He's, she's probably gonna die. I think Trin will probably catch her. Knock him away! That's really smart. Oh my god, look at that outplay! That was so clutch. I'm so impressed right now. That was some next level shit. So I can save my feast now um, because I have... So if you look here, minions chomped six. That's the six stacks I need from there. So everything else... I'm not going to benefit from feasting anything else but champions and epic monsters. So what do I need? 1,400? That's my next goal for back. 1,400. I could probably run down this Valkaz. He doesn't have any kind of escape abilities, so. Get a ward up here. I doubt that they take Baron, but I'm not exactly the fastest champion, so. Don't want to be caught. The 5 and 0. Oh, can I get the 6 and 0? Oh? oh, make mod day. Well, I'm not going to make it in time. Good job. This Yi... Does he have Cinderhawk Yi? That's new. Oh, really? Man, that sucks. So, 
I used my Q right here because it takes off kind of the escape path. So that way, uh, the Lucian and the Brahm either had to run towards Hecarim and them, or run towards my Q where I get the kill. So either way, happy day. I feel bad about that LeBlanc, but legit that, uh, that Trinomir was still an ultimate, so I really couldn't do anything. Give me my Frozen Heart. I think I'm going to get my Dead Man's Plate next. Uh, they actually changed Dead Man's Plate to where the um, they also slowed the target by 50 seconds, uh, by 50% for one second, which I think is pretty neat. This match is just total slaughter, though. Oh my god. I love Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath be hungry. Get in my belly. My fee stack worth it. <laughs> oh my god. Damn, we gotta be careful here. Uh some my dorns. Bam. Get some more armor. Nine fee stacks. I might get a spirit visage next. Or Randuin's omen. That'll help against all this, too. Yeah, Randuin's Omen next. Yeah, we gotta get Baron an end. We don't want this to last any longer than it has to. Nice. Let me get Master Yi. What's my feast at? 1,200? Maybe I could swipe dragon. <laughs> Take a back up here. Uh, Cho'Gath basically has a free huge smite, so I mean, I only need to get him to what? What? Yeah, 1200. Okay, I'm like, am I not backing? Got my dead bands. Noise. I think this might be GG. Just saying. Nice. What's my feast up to? Ooh, 1300 damage. The. The dead man's play is just honestly, I like the armor because their team is very armor based. Um, it's extra health, which is going to work against both uh, all of their damage, so even like the Valkaz. Alright, so once again, uh, 1300. Watch the birdie. Very nice. I got Cho. Uh, I'm gonna do Randowin's Omen next. I am so tanky. Uh, I don't know why 
they just Oh my god. Well, I guess we're gonna end it. <laughs> that was crazy. Man, that maid. Holy crap. She is so fat. I got 11 stacks. Well, not that I would have uh, needed to be very useful in this game anyways, but I, I think I did pretty good. The only item I probably really didn't need is the Dead Man's Plate, but I liked the extra slow in case uh, Trin tries to like spin away, keeps him a little bit closer to me. Uh, I'll give that to the Vane because she did awesome. Man, got a chest. Look at that. Got an S plus on the uh, Cho'Gath. Uh, the Bramble Vest, of course, against the... Uh, uh, Trindomir Lifesteal, which he was going to build. Master, he normally goes Bork, which he... Uh, Blade of the Ruined King, sorry, which he did. So that's good there. Uh, frozen Heart against Auto Attack based Champion. So super, super tanky. Super useful. Like I said, the thing that I really like about Cho'Gath is he can sustain in lane really, really well. So it's hard to force him out. Uh, there's very few matchups where he can't do that, at least. And no matter what, even if I feed, uh, my Feast is an awesome execute against anyone. CC's always valuable, so keep that in mind. Um, I promise some people that I give more of an explanation off runes. So here's my rune page if you want to check that out. Um, conditioning, so 10... I mean, I want the scaling bonus armor and magic resist for the late game. Overgrowth, once again, helps me sustain in lane. Uh, same with Bone Plate, Ultimate Hat. I want my Feast on as low as cooldown of a pos as possible. And Transcendence because there's a lot of CDR items that Cho'Gath really likes. So that increases his CDR and uh, lets you overcap and get some benefit out of it. Grasp, I feel like, is the best uh, resolve one. Uh, it gives you a little extra damage and healing in lane. So we can check out the damage charts. Boom. Well, I hope you guys liked that one. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. All that good jazz. Uh, Twitch streaming now. That information is in the description. So make sure you check that out. Really appreciate it. Come hang out while I record. And tune in next time. Peace.